Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Stadium, Gym Leader Castle. In the last episode, we took on Misty, the Cerulean Gym, and had a little bit harder time in her actual Gym Leader battle, just because she had a Blastoise on her team. And now we're going to be moving on to Lieutenant Surge, where in the anime, this is where things got a little bit more difficult, and in Pokemon Yellow, if you remember my Let's Play. If not, go check out that video. Sorry for the plug. Uh, things started to get more difficult as well. And speaking of plugs, this is going to be an electrifying battle because it's going to be electric type gyms and I will not use puns anymore. I'm not good with puns. Anyway, we're going to be battling a sailor, a rocker, an old man, and obviously, a vermilion gym leader, Surge. Now, one thing that you're actually going to notice about the names, the trainer class names, is that they don't actually match up with what they're called in the main series games. Sailor obviously does. And he's got some water type Pokemon that we're going to be facing here. But Pokemon like, or trainers like Rocker was not Rocker, I don't believe, and Old Man was Gentleman. So things are not exactly the same in this gym, in this game. We've got Shellor the Sheldor to take down, so let's begin this battle with a Thunderbolt. Again, check out the arena for the gym. It's. Whoa, I forgot they can change Pokemon. I actually forgot that they're allowed to do that. You just switched out one water type Pokemon for another water type Pokemon. This thing must have moves that will be able to take down Pikachu. Hopefully that is not the case, and hopefully I can get in another Thunderbolt here. Let's see if I can, see if I'm faster. I am, so that switch out was unnecessary, and we'll never find out if this thing had moves that could take down Pikachu. But anyway, the gym itself doesn't have a different quality about it. It's got a huge, giant, bottomless, pit, abyss thing that we gotta kinda worry about. And we got Slowpoke, the dopey Pokemon. This thing, I love the way this the animations for Slowpoke in this game. Just because when you hit it, just watch, just watch, watch this. It gets X's in its eyes, but not only that, it looks like nothing phases it. Besides that, like nothing else really seems to do anything to it. Um, just really gotta love that. Really gotta love that. Anyway, we'll just Thunderbolt this, and then we'll move on to his shelter. And up on the corners and along the walls, you can actually see these, like, orbs of electricity, like, surging around. So that's kind of a nice little touch specifically for this electric-type base gym. Yep, 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 we know that. We know that. He's got one, and the one Pokemon that he started with, Shelter. Not Shelter. 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 That just sounded wrong in my head. It is Shelder, but it just sounded wrong. It sounded like Sheldon. Not Sheldon, this is Shelder. Shell or the specific Shelder to be more specific, and it's gonna hang on. This bubble beam is probably gonna do a little bit more damage than I anticipated. And we'll just finish it off with a slam. Hopefully it hits right on. If not, I'll switch over to Jolteon and quick attack this thing. But we won't have to worry about that. And we took down Shellor, the Sheldor, the first trainer, who is actually a Sailor. Hey, you don't look mad. You're supposed to look angry or something in your in your picture. Well, I don't approve. I don't approve of that. But anyway, we're gonna go to Rocker, who's got electric type Pokemon. Now unfortunately I don't have something to actually fight this electric type Pokemon or something to resist it, such as Um Uh such as Venusaur, but I won't park on the fact that I don't have him over. I actually probably could bring him over and trade it. Actually, no, I can't, because I don't have Pokemon Crystal with me. Why is Pikachu? 
Oh, no, that's your Pikachu. That's your Pikachu. Pikus. Pikus. Pikus something. Um, I really thought that was me. I was like, well, I didn't choose Pikachu for this battle. I would not choose Pikachu for this battle. That doesn't make sense, but... Anyway, I'm really gonna rely on Alakazam and Gengar in this battle. Uh, more Alakazam, because... Look how sad Pikachu looks in his feigning animation. Look how sad it looks. But, um... I also got Charizard that hopefully I don't have to use, and if I do, hopefully I'm faster than these Pokemon and can do some serious damage to them with Fire-type moves. Again, we've got a different kind of styled Electabuzz here. I don't know, I don't remember if this is the way all Electabuzzes look in the game, all Electabuzz look in the game. But it's different, it's definitely a different coloration, and we've got Thunder Punch. Alright, let's finish this Let's finish this off with a Psybeam and that really should just take down this Pokemon. It should be done after Buzzes, buzzes. Oh, it did not take it down. So it looks like we're gonna have to go through another Thunder Punch on this one. Hopefully that nah, probably won't take Alakazam down. It doesn't show it. I wish it would show full animation for Alakazam, like, the way it just, like, nonchalantly just, like, rests itself, lays down like a slacking wood, and then just floats back to its spot, and is like, that was supposed to do something. Let me continue with this battle and take down your Electabuzz. Like, I know. I know what I'm doing. Alright, we got Magnemite to deal with. Again, a different coloration, because it's not green and purple, it's supposed to be red and blue. And this is not Generation 2, so Magnemite is still a uh, pure Electric-type Pokemon, not Electric Steel. So this should do all the damage that it wants to do without the Steel-type resistance on it. It's going to do Thunder. And it actually hit. It actually hit. So I'm going to now move over to Gengar, because if I switch over to Charizard, that would be a bad move. It would be a good move in... Gold, Silver, and Crystal, and beyond, because I could just use a Fire-type move on this thing, but, uh... I cannot do that here. No, that's like a completely different thing that would have to go on. <sighs> okay, I have to tell a quick story that's gonna, ha that's gonna go on right here. Uh, let's do a... Oh, wow. I don't have a lot of good moves. Uh, Nightshade. Gengar was my cousins and my favorite Pokemon to see in the battle animations, and you can actually look at the gallery photos. Maybe I'll flash them up on screen right now of what actually, of the pictures that we took, but Gengar's battle animation, when it comes onto screen, the way it just like opens its mouth and sticks out its tongue, is the most hilarious thing ever we thought it was as kids when we were like seven, eight or whatever playing this game, and we would snap photos at the moment it took it, it stuck its tongue out. It was that hilarious to me. 